Rabbi Isaac, I'll tell you a very short story. I remember I was invited once to camp, to camp at Gruder Midwest. In South Haven, that's the name of the place? Somewhere there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, someplace there. I was there. Do you know what happened? There was a blackout. In New York, there was a blackout. And I, there was no way in the world I was able to make a plane from New York. Because the, airport, the airport was closed. So my wife and myself, we drove to Philadelphia and we took the plane from there. So I want to tell you a story. I tried to find out what was the cause of the blackout. The blackout was all the way from Buffalo, Canada, to Chicago and past. Later on, they found out that one of the relay stations for electricity, there was a tool, I, I, don't, know, I, I don't remember the name, smaller than that. And that went. So the whole half of the United States of America was in a blackout. Interesting fact, right? With, today we live in, uh, in, in, in fear. I, I know, I, I just came back from the soul on Monday night. A blackout there, people get scared today, so they don't know what, well, what is it. People do live, even Bo Hashem, uh, the whole thing out, but it's, uh, it's not so gishmak. So, everybody has his way, analyzing things. We started to work in Russia about 28 years ago. How many of you remember the, the explosion in Chernobyl? You all remember it? So let me tell you. Kiev is not far from there. We were in Kiev that time. But the wind blew differently. So, so Kiev was safe, and other parts, Belarus, it was terrible. I, you know, Ada you're not allowed to live in the, in, in the city of Chernobyl, you're not allowed to live. What I saw after that, I, I'm not going to tell you. Kids were born deformed, deformed. Terrifying. Animals were born deformed from that explosion of the whatever. Since we are in a closed form, I'll tell you something. I was saved by radiation. Radiation saved me. I had whatever I had. I had past tense. And radiation saved me. But before they, I had to go through radiation, you go for two weeks. I hope that you don't have to go through it. They first create a shield from you for, for the person. And they make a little, little, little tiny hole exactly where it has to go in, to shield, to shield, to shield. So here you see radiation destroys and radiation saves lives. Electricity. We just finished uh, the Yom Tov of Sutras. What I'm telling you nice from Rabbi Yaakov, it was my rabbi, you said, I thought that people know Rabbi Yaakov, but I mean Rabbi Yaakov, I mean Rabbi Yaakov from Alaska. So he, he said, we, we, we asked for rain, Shmini Atzeres, and Roshan Rabbi, the old day, my, 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 then we say, Lebrach of Elohim Lechlodah. The same mime can be Lebrach of Elohim How many of you remember the tsunami? You know how many books were written about the tsunami? The tsunami of God. It was an unbelievable thing. What happened there that in the middle of the ocean, water as high as half a mile rose, slowly, 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 slowly came to them. No way to stop it. No warning. 250,000 people just vanished like their marble. Why am I telling you all that? The Chavetz Chaim said that I went to Torvadas High School. And I, I wish the youth today would also take Limudi Chol as serious as we took it. We took it very seriously. How, today, they do take it serious? Depends on the school. They're telling the school. So let me tell you. Depends if they have it. I have, <laughs> I had a teacher, Mr. Vogel, not from, but he, he instilled such an awe of Shakespeare in me. You can't believe it. I'm a big fan of Shakespeare. Because he instilled it in me. And I'm not sorry about it. 
throughout my traveling, it doesn't help me. I once had to speak to a reformed Kehila, <laughs> not in the, in, in the temple, but in the social uh, and the dominion. I mentioned Shakespeare, they looked at me like I'm. I'm, I'm uh, I, 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 I made it like, like Pasha. I told him, you know, in the Macbeth, all shells started to go closer. <laughs> but that's what happens. Listen, I'm going Let me tell you. The Halit of Chaim says there's two types of maps. There's a map that you buy in the store. I love to read maps. And so you see Paris. It's a big dot, you know, any city which is more than a million people is that. Radin, I don't know if, 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 it, if it even exists on the map. Bells, whatever. Slabotka is only a suburb of, uh, of a big city. I was there because my regular and there. Were you there? It wasn't it. So, but the Rebbein Shalom has different maps. Paris, okay, unfortunately, Paris became very famous because of the eating that we killed them at Paris. No, they never had a yeshiva in Paris. But the Jews from North Africa moved there, so they made some yeshivas. Electricity. A little, a little things. Half, a quarter of the United States of America was locked. I want to tell you something. I don't know how to fly them, that's the truth. <coughs> Someone told me, you will never be a good fundraiser because you don't know how to, how to fly the people. So I, don't, <coughs> I just don't know how to raise money. I want to tell you something. There is a power station that spreads a lot of light. And I'm very emotional about it because I saw it. We live in a very do I have to tell you that we live in Doyle Marble? I really, when I think that my grandchildren who live in New York, and I, I'm embarrassed to even talk to talk about it, but since it's a closed, they, David Sweebell from that, did you know him? Mm -hmm. Big man. He says, he pities our children of what they'll have to confront. But we still, Change sometimes from hearing, by then it will be a normal part of life. A normal part of life. In a certain day stool, from day stool, two people showed up, two, two men, and they wanted to register a boy. They are the parents of the boy. A true fact that happened a month ago. And if you, the stool didn't know, maybe it's a setup. Because if you don't accept him, you can be, you lose all the federal funding. That's what we have to confront today, unfortunately. Was this an orthodox? Orthodox. <clears throat> orthodox. I don't want to go into that whole parsha. It's a very sad parsha, unfortunately. And unfortunately, we don't even know how to deal with it. But the heart of the Shbohu sometimes knows that we have to confront difficult things. So he sends rays in the, in the middle of the, of the darkness of the storm, he sends rays. Don't lose, hold on, keep going. Sometimes you really become Jewish, not having some Jewish, but you become so disturbed, you get so confused, you don't know what to do. A lot of us, a lot of us don't even know how to handle our children today. It's a dilemma. We, the rules and regulations of the past don't work today. We have to update. The embassy they should we update meetings with parents, what to say, how to say. You can't just ignore the whole world around here. Even last night I spoke. I said what I heard from Rav Hutner. I myself heard it from him. The Rashi of Chaim Bolin Rav He says the table could not hold everyone that was supposed to go in there, naturally. No way in the world. The big giraffe said, maybe there were dinosaurs. I'm not so sure there were no dinosaurs. I believe there were. Even though the yeshiva they told me there were not, I believe there were dinosaurs. But by the marble, they were destroyed. But there were, there were these huge animals. How did they go into the table? The answer is, 
it was an ace. There's no question the tail was an ace. And, and I told his wife, well, I found many other ways to save Lot and his, fa and his family. It's a lesson for our generation, all generations. Whenever you live in the door of a marble, you must build a table to yourself. So Emmanuel was the first one. So there were three components in her tent. The Shekhinah was over the tent. Why over? Why not in the tent like a Besamikdash? Because it was a filter. The Shekhinah over the tent was a filter. She told Hashem, Ben Shalom, I want son Yitzchak, and you want him to be the continuation of the Klal Yisrael. It's not a son. That's what she told Avram by Shmuel. Our son Yitzchak is not a son. He's the embodiment of Klal Yisrael. So they wish to help her. She built a, a, a filter, and the nail, the beauty, warmth of the toilet was in the house. You can't just, you have to give both. And that's what. So, we Eden are very, very strange. You agree we are all very strange people? We are. There's no nation in the world that you hear that someone was still in as you saw, and, and, and it bothers them and people start to cry. I have a very close friend of mine who lived in England, he's not there anymore. And I go in there to him one time and I see him cry. And he said, why are you crying? So he read in the uh, idiot that a soldier was still in as you saw. I asked him, did you know him? He got so angry at me. What's the difference? I tell you, Yid was killed, and I cry, and you, and you ask me if I know him, what's the difference? Everybody in this room was bothered two days ago by what happened in Yerushalayim. Everybody, terribly, saw the picture with the knife. Why? The Muslims, in Turkey, they killed each other. 80 people exploded. It's garnished. But we do something. I mean, I, 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 should, I don't want to talk about it. I'm sick. sick. Mayor, let me hear the news interview with a guy from the State Department, Mamish. Did you hear it? Kirby? I don't know who. He okay. could not blame one side more than the other. Yeah. Okay, whatever. This is not for now. So the Abishta, so the Abishta gave us an opportunity, and I say, excuse. There's a powerhouse, and I mean it seriously. I don't know how to make appeals, I'm not even good in it. There's a powerhouse called Rabbi Yara and his family. I don't know how much Kedusha and how many rays of Kedusha to the whole world comes out of that house. I know you're doing, everybody in this room is doing a lot of good things. And I told you, we should help you to continue. Amen. I want to tell you before I. <coughs> A happy, sad story. I'm sure you have it in Chicago also, the Toyn Cheshavans, the St. Patrick's and that. We have it in New York. But many years ago, I lived in Williamsburg, and I'm not ashamed to admit that I had no money. When you don't have, you didn't steal it from everybody. So, <laughs> so in the middle of the night, it was two days before Pesach, we hear a knock on the window. <coughs> And people ran away, I go out, I see packages. My wife was so hurt. She said, tell me, Shmuel, you know, I'm always the guilty one. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds familiar, right? <laughs> good, good, good. So, 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 she, uh, so she says, did you tell anybody we don't have? No. I was also embarrassed. People think I don't have food for Pesach. Now I come to the sad story. But 15 minutes later, I get a phone call from a Balabat Shiit. Shiit, Bal's daughter. Did you get a package for Pesach? I thought he wants to tell me that he avenged it. He said, I need it. If anybody will ever know my situation, my business is finished. I do not have food for Pesach. So I had to choose someone which I know would forgive me, and I gave him a. And he came at night and he took the food. Story that happened in my house. Baruch Hashem, 
The wheels turned, and he came to me once I had a pay second for down at the table fifty thousand dollars cash. I'm able to do it now. Distribute it. I said, I'm glad that you used me again, because when you used me the first time, I was not this good. Abba said, she don't like that. I only want, I can tell you one thing. There are a lot of poor Jews that have gone the world. They don't even know there's a Rabbi Yisrael. <clears throat> I feel bad for them. I don't condemn anybody. Maybe we are guilty. I don't take blames, but uh, maybe we should have done more. Do you know what goes on in college, in the campuses? And, uh, but there's a letter from a Moshe who writes a letter to a girl when he was old. I, I had a schus to have a lot of shakas with him. He writes like that. Dear girl, dear name, I don't have koyach to write letters now. But the bells of tshuva that ring from your letters don't let me rest. You say you live three years in a campus and who knows what type of life. Forget about it. David will help you. Your tshuva will be niskabel. Kodesh Baruch Hu loves Bali tshuva. And I promise you that you'll marry a ben toya. The Rav Moshe promised. I didn't follow it up. But the letter is published. We don't know the bells of tshuva that ring from people. I, I, I hate the terminology about tshuva. I much hate it. I hate it. I wish I would be. A, 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 I once went to, with someone to a, a certain school which accepted a certain family. Can about a tshuva. Well, he's not Hamish. Do you, you, did you ever hear the word Hamish? <laughs> I asked him, when does someone become Hamish? When he talks to me of the dominant? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever. But, Rabbi Yisrael, we don't know. We don't have the scale. Certain skills we have, and certain skills we don't have. I don't know how to weigh a Shomayim. <coughs> Bringing one, I, I, I worked very hard in, in Russia, and I'm, I'm not coming for that, but I tell you one thing. The first thing we worked on is they should make a bris mila. Here too, with the Russians. So I want you to know there was a 14 year old that the Moyle came to make the bris mila, and the, the doctor says he cannot get the injection because whatever his allergies. So the boy says, you're going to make a very smell to me, we'll get out of the injection. And the boy was afraid to do it, so he removed. The kids are his, he made a very smell with out of the injection, 14 years old. I tell you, but big tzaddikim told me, who knows what the zeros was by Shomai when his battle from this very smell. I don't know what, how many zeros was on his battle from a Shabbaton by Rabbi Yahari. There's so many people who are you come closer to the adventurer. I don't ask this question. Who, is, who became a Kishem Shabbos? I don't ask that. So Rabbi Yaakov Tamanesi told me, if you get someone not to marry a Goya, you have another generation to work on that young man. So if he would marry a Goya, he's finished. So this is, I just, I only told you, I touched the surface. The rest, you need a lot, a lot of hours and a lot, a lot of time, which you don't have, I do have, to really listen to. But individual stories are not important. It's the essence. It's the essence. I said it last night, there's a revolution today. You have a whole, unfortunately, intermarriage. Very sad. Very, very sad what goes on with intermarriage. There's anti-Jewish feelings in Jewish students in the camp. You know it. The biggest anti-Israeli forces are the Jewish students in the colleges. It's sad. Self-hating Jews. But here, we have an opportunity. I tell you, that I don't know. It's, it wasn't easy for me to come. I just arrived from SSO on Monday night. I'm still shed late a little bit. And I'm not 100% back to my son, Hashem, slowly, slowly, getting better and better. But I just didn't want to say no. 
And then, first of all, I'm glad to meet you. No, I'm not here to ask you for money. I want you to know the Amos. You owe the Amnachas to us, the Abishta. I'm serious. I don't know if you ever hear those words. People who have jobs and work and take off time and listen to, just listen, give an ear to someone who does so much good. <coughs> You're ready to open the door for him. That's already a big thing. You know what it is? No, there's a beautiful song. This is what it's all about. You do Nachazuach to the Ebishter. That the Ebishter sees that there are other people who care for my children. It's his children. I said it last night and I'll not finish with that. I worked with, uh, oh, yeah, with kids of the day. Are you aware there's a problem today with kids of the day? Are you aware of it? Unfortunately. You don't know the agony. I met in a very, very few community, and we should trouble them that community. I'm not going to tell you name. Very, extremely from community. And I met with parents who live in and parents whose kids went off the derech, and I had to meet with 50 parents. 50 parents, children of rabbis, from their dad. And here you have the opposite. You have someone who's trying, trying to be a children back. I cannot pay you back. I don't even know how to pay you. And Rabbi Yair cannot pay you back also. But Hashem Lishbor who pays his debts, I can tell you that. Companies, I, do all companies pay their debts? Sometimes. Oh. Oh, yeah. Do you ever hear a, of a, a bankruptcy? Mm-hmm. You hear about that sometimes? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I, I told Lishbor who does never declares bankruptcy. <laughs> He pays all his debts, and he pays it with interest. He is allowed to pay interest. I told this boy should give the bracha and that's bracha and seat and shmaya. The biggest bracha should be healthy, not from your own children, and we should always meet in very very good occasions. Amen. It was, it was a pleasure to meet you. Thank you. Thank you.